Hey guys, it's Ashley and I am going to tell you the results of my Simply Fit Simplified Genetics DNA test for what I should be doing, eating, and taking. Um, this is a company that I discovered down in Dallas when I did my yoga training. It's actually owned by the same person that uh, owns the yoga studio I did my training with. So really great bunch of people, really awesome. And it's the only genetic testing for weight loss and this kind of thing that that is 100% accurate because they do a full sequence analysis and I'm not gonna get into the total science of it, but full sequence analysis is 100% accurate compared to the some other companies who did a different kind of analysis that was ended up being like 40% inaccurate. So um, this one is legit. So I need to tell you my results. What I usually do, if you know me, you know that I really love, or if you've been following me on Facebook or YouTube or whatever, but I really love high intensity workouts. I like, I love the energy. I'm, I just need to like go, go, go. I'm very, ah, I was a high jumper in college, which is like short bursts, lots of sprints, but I also do like yoga. So I did, I do some yoga and, um, just to calm myself because I am so like, ah, so, so yoga is good too. My workout routine varies so much. As for my diet, I eat a, a very plant-based diet, so a lot more vegetables and fruits and uh, beans and almonds and nuts and things like that. And um, I drink Shakeology, which is a daily dose of dense nutrition. Sometimes I eat chicken and egg whites and things like that because I, I think that I do need more protein. I, I never knew for sure, but now this test is going to tell me and I'll, I'll tell you my results in a second. Um, what I should be taking, that's supplements. So anyway, according to these results, I'm doing everything wrong. I'm doing everything the opposite of what I'm supposed to be doing. Let's start with exercise. Like I said, I do high intensity exercise. This little thing told me that I should be doing 70% steady aerobic and 30% high intensity. If you flip that, that's that's what I've been doing. So, so I need to change that up a little bit. That means more yoga, more walks, more light jogging, more elliptical, more nice little bicycle rides, uh, maybe biking to work, keeping my heart rate at um, you know 50 to 55 percent of max heart rate for seven out of ten of my workouts. Okay, and then three out of ten of my workouts, let's say I work out five days a week, so three out of 10 for two weeks should be high intensity, no more than like 30 to 40 minutes. That might be tough because I teach four classes, three, uh, two classes a week that are super high intensity and that are an hour long. So I guess those are my only high intensity options for exercising. Other than that, I probably shouldn't do much more than that. So I had to switch up my routine, which is great because next week I'm starting APY 60 with this accountability group. So I'm going to be doing more yoga. I take my dog for walks every morning. So I'm going to learn for my genetic body how to do more of a steady aerobic exercise routine. Does that include lifting? Can someone tell me exactly what steady aerobic exercising I should be doing? It didn't say specific examples, but it's keeping your heart rate 50 to 55. Let's see, yoga, walking, light jogging, biking, lifting? I don't know. So if you guys have any ideas for me, that would be great, but I am gonna be doing a lot more yoga. For eating, this is what I was really shocked at. Like I said, I do a very plant-based diet, so I actually don't get a lot of protein. I, I get, I think I get plant, I get enough, but not like massive amounts. Well, according to my macrobiotic chart, I should be eating 40% protein. Most of my diet should be protein, and then 35% carbs and 25% fat. If you saw my Turbo Fire inferno video recap that I did, you could see that I had no results whatsoever. I was cutting down calories, I was eating, you know, 50% carb, 25, 25, and then I was working out like crazy, you know, giving it my all, doing all the jumps and this crazy stuff, and by the end of the week, honestly, nothing. And that kind of goes to show, maybe I should have been doing yoga every morning instead, or, um, taking light jogs or something rather than this high intensity stuff. And then as far as taking, that's supplements, right? So it says something about BCAs and 
some appetite control stuff. I'm not too concerned about the, the take part because maybe I'll get a better explanation of that later. And the person to contact about more information or about these results that I had would be Jennifer Clark. And she works for Simplify Genetics and she is really awesome. I met her down in Dallas and so she knows all about um, anything if I need anything explained or if um, someone else were to have questions about it, I'm sure she'd know. Or you can ask, let's see, you could probably email Kurt Johnson, you could ask, ask me because I know who to contact to get you more information. But anyway, those are my results and that means now that I know everything that I need to know about my, uh, everything right now that I need to know about my genetics, I can start making some changes in my life. Um, that means eating a little bit differently, exercising a little bit differently, and if you, you see me, you'll say, oh, you're already really lean, you're already, like, you know, you're healthy, all that stuff. But, um, but everybody's got a point of how they can be completely optimal. And um, I know I haven't been totally optimal, so this is like the extra boost up. If you've been working out, you know, like, kind of know what you're supposed to be doing, you, you've got all this eating right, but you're at, like, this plateau, and, like, why isn't this working for me, or why isn't this this Pinyon DX food guideline working for me, or why isn't the APY 60 guidelines working for me either, or this workout, it, so and so lost 14 pounds in two weeks, how come I'm not losing weight, how come I'm gaining weight? It could be um, genetics, simple as that. So I hope you guys enjoy this recap. Follow me on my blog, it's ashleyjonas.com. If you need me to spell that out, it's A-S-H-L-E-Y-J-O-N-A-S.com. My name. Um, I haven't posted a whole lot to that blog, but I'm going to post a little bit more because now that um, I have some interesting information and an interesting program to follow, it might be kind of fun to track my results. So if you want to check back in like four, eight, 12 weeks and see how I'm doing, um, AshleyJonas.com might be a, a place to do it because I'll be blogging there. Or you could just subscribe to my YouTube channel because I'll also be putting out other videos. So I hope you guys have a great night and I will talk to you guys later. And my crazy diet exercise plan starts tomorrow.